Hey, what's up, my friends? It's your friend Watchman El Velador Eric Three, and I'm coming at you with a new video. And this time, I want to talk about a lot of stuff surrounding September. And let me close up. Okay, there we go. A lot of stuff that's been comments, videos, news, articles, everything that's gonna be happening in September. First of all, the thing that kind of pointed me to this direction about September is a channel that I follow called Face Like the Sun. And I'll link it up in here. It's a pretty good channel. And I was checking it out. He gave out some pretty good articles, links to everything. And I'm going to try to do the same thing for you guys. You know? But let's move on. There's a lot of scary, not scary, but just like events. That are just gonna happen all in September, which a lot of people have been talking about. And but let's move on. And I'm gonna try to put it. I'm gonna try to as as much as I can put them in order. I'm gonna try to do that. You know, like there's a lot more, but I'm just gonna take the the ones that jumped at me a lot more. But I'll have the the link to the that actual list. But let's move on. First of all. In September, they are already talking about the big Jewish rabbis. They are already talking about the arrival of their Messiah. And I got the article right here. Let's check this out. All right. Leading Israeli rabbi says the arrival of the Messiah is imminent. And if you read about it, here you go. But what jumped at me... <clears throat> the rabbi verified that the, he has given the same answer each time. This year, the sabbatical year, and it will be ending on the 29th day of Elul, which by the Gregorian calendar falls on Saturday, 12 September 12, 2015. And that's their Messiah. That's their Savior. Which, in my opinion, it's the Antichrist. Let's move on, because I got a list. And I'm going to put all the articles, I'm going to put all the links so you guys can research this. But let's move on. Also, in this year, it's going to be September, the mystery of the Shemitah. And the Shemitah used to be a blessing for the Jews back in the day. But then again, since the Jews turned their back on God, A, and I'm saying this, I'm not anti semitical I'm not. I love everybody. But I'm just saying whatever is in the <clears throat> whatever is in the this book, whatever is in the Bible, the Jews turn away from God and it turned that year of blessing into a year of judgment. And according and I'll link this up, this is a last year. It ends the cycle of the seventh year. That's when the cycle ends for the Shemitah, which is gonna be judgment on the land. And we will be judged. I'm going to link up this article. And let's move on. Another thing is. The UN is moving. To do. To do the. Give, give the Palestinians. Their long awaited statehood. What does that mean? Well. It means they're going to be negotiating peace. Between Israel and Palestine. And if you know a little bit of history. You already know what that is. These two groups don't like each other. They hate each other. But again, we're talking about the UN. And they're going to be finally negotiating Palestine's statehood. Which then again, who's going to be doing that? In my opinion, it's going to be the Antichrist. The head of the UN or whoever this guy is going to be, he's going to negotiate that. You know? But I'm going to link up another article about this. Next. Jade Helm ends on September. The long training that has been going on. And I always had a problem with this. That it says, Master of the Human Domain. I always had a problem with that name. Always had a problem with that name. I don't know why it jumps at me so bad. But yeah. Jade Helm ends. Let's move on. CERN is going to be powering up 
at double the speed. Uh, it's gonna be uh, here. Let me look at my notes over here. But they're gonna be doing it larger and bigger. So yeah, yeah. Sun will fire at full power September 23rd, and tw from September 24 23rd to September 24th, CERN will be using double the power. And I've done a couple of videos about CERN and what like, the CERN is. And to me, CERN is the key to opening the bottomless pit. CERN will do some stuff. And I got some articles here. Let's move on. There we go. Then I got the article saying everything that like how much power they're gonna be using, how much stuff. But the thing that jumped at me, look at this. They're holding something in their hand. And there's a lot there's two big events during September that are gonna happen that mention a key. Just keep your eyes open for that. But in my opinion, CERN is nothing more than a way to go into other dimensions. And I think I got it here. No, it's not this. Uh, there we go. This is a director out of this door. They're going to open up a door. And this guy says, out of this door might, might come something. Or we might send something through it. Said Giorgio Sergio Bertolucci who is a director for research and scientific computing at CERN. So out of this door something might come in. Don't you think it's a little bit weird? And what does what what does a door need to be open? It needs a key. Alright, let's move on. Also the International <clears throat> Day of Peace. That's a UN International Day of Peace. Which is a little bit weird, you know. Which is going to be September 21st. Everything is going to be around the mid, the last days of September. But September 21st, International Day of Peace. You know. Which I'm going to be talking about. The Palestinian statehood, International Day of Peace. How they all be talking about peace. And I'm going to put it in the Bible. Let's move on. Madonna is going to be having two huge concerts in the East Coast. The thing with that's been jumping in my face is that uh, she calls her here. Let me go. Uh, there we go. Let's. It has something to say about her. There we go. And I'm gonna be posting this article there, so you guys can just go ahead and check it out, cause. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be putting some stuff. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, no, I, I'm gonna find that article so you guys can check it out. But uh, she's gonna be the theme of her concert. The theme of her concert is gonna be called the desecration of the bride and the revealing of the fallen angels I'm gonna have that article if you don't believe me which is really weird that she's gonna be doing this huge concert to me it's gonna be a ritual before the Pope goes to the United States let's move on this man here the Pope will come to the United States and he's gonna be addressing Congress and the United Nations. No Pope has ever addressed Congress ever in world history. Which is really weird, which is, I don't know. To me, this man has all the signs that he's a false prophet from the Bible. Which is weird that he's gonna get with all the world leaders here and he's gonna go to Congress and he's gonna release and he's gonna put out his encyclical which is his encyclical is gonna be all about climate change and 
that he needs a new world order, you'll see. I'm, I'm Do your research, and you'll see what I'm talking about. He's a false prophet. Or if he's not, he has all, all the qualifications to be one. All right, let's move on. Next, we got Tomorrowland. A big, big rave party, a big, huge party, which <laughs> this, if you know what I'm talking about, this jumped at me. Look at that big old C and I. It's look at that Illuminati. Then again, the main theme for Tomorrowland or Tomorrow World, whatever, is called the Key to Happiness, September 25, 26, and 27. Now, with CERN having that key, like I just showed, they got their key here. And we got a key here. I just, and CERN, like I said many times, is going to be a way how to open up dimensions, how to open up something. They want to free somebody that's locked in there. In my opinion, they want to free up the, the fallen angels that are there. <clears throat> but there you go. There we go. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and with him was given the key to the bottomless pit. You might think I'm crazy, but you know what? I'm just telling you what it is. You know, my opinion, how everything connects, but let's move on. September 20th, 2015. We got the last blood moon. And if you do your research on this whole blood moon theory, you know what I'm talking about. You know, for time's sake, I can't go in depth with that, but the last blood moon. And I've been talking about it ever since I knew we were going to get a tetrad. But do your research, and you see what I'm talking about. Next. There's been a lot of speculation on September. We're going to get the long-awaited, the everybody, even economists, people that know about finances, economy, and all that stuff. I'm not so good at it, but... All of them point that there's a coming economic collapse coming to the United States. Is the, um, this evening economic collapse might even be global. So who knows? You know, everybody's been pointing to this. So I'm just urging you, you know, <clears throat> and then there we go. International Day of Peace. Uh, we got the, and then also we got the, in September, we also got the Año Lucis, which is a year of light. Año Lucis, Lucifer, Lucis, Lucifer. Do that connection, people. What else do we got here? Um, also, they're going to be doing a little, some more experiments with the CERN thing. I mean, obviously, you can tell the 666. <laughs> but then again, they're going to be doing a lot more experiments down in the Middle, middle East. And this is called sesame. Down in the Middle East. Sesame. Open sesame, anybody? Open sesame? Open the portal, open the door, open sesame? See the connection. Next, <clears throat> we already saw that. We got Madonna doing her concerts, you know, in September. Like here, I got the, 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 the papal visits. Here you go. You know, gonna go to Congress, gonna be doing all that weird stuff. So here you go, Washington, D.C., September 24th, to address the joint sessions of the United States Congress. September 25th, United Nations General Assembly address. It's a little bit too weird. Oh, and, and talking about the economic collapse, look at China. China calls for new glo glo global currency, which is due to happen in September. Let's move on. Another thing that kind of jumped at me, too. French Foreign Minister, we have 500 days to avoid climate chaos. Which, in September, it's going to be the last days when they uh, send out that warning and it's going to be done. According to them, we haven't done anything for the weather. So, 
that's going to be in September, that's when it ends. He put out a 500 days. What a coincidence. It's all going to happen in September. Let's move on again. Let's check this out. And here's a list that I have, so I'm going to link it up. The Muslims are calling for their Mahdi to return also, just like the Israelis are saying their Messiah is going to show up. Also the Muslims. The Muslims have been talking about their Mahdi. Here we go. A lot of Muslim clerics are predicting the return of their Mahdi in September this year. Also interesting to note, it is a prophecy of old written by Islamic prophet Ali bin Ibn Abi Talib which says that just before the coming of the Mahdi, a tall, black, a tall black man will rise up to take command of the West and he will command the most powerful army on earth. Not, not Obama. So, and there we go. The great awaited leader. What I'm thinking this man is going to be the same one the Jewish people are waiting for. It's going to be the same one the Muslims are waiting for. And he's the one that's going to unite this people. He's the one that's going to give permission to do the temple. He's going <laughs> to... This man is a coming antichrist. It's the same man. And oh, one other thing. A lot of people been talking about a comet. NASA been talking about this. That there's a comet heading towards the earth. On September and I'm gonna put the link on there you know that there's a coming comet that's why FEMA has been preparing so much that's why FEMA has been doing all these movements but let's move on my question for you is are you guys ready you know there's always been the year of peace they've been talking about the day of peace the Palestinians are finally going to have their state. The Israel, the Israel, the Israel, the Jews are waiting for their Messiah. The Mahdi, they are going to come together and there will be peace. And last this, also, here you go. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. My message is, people, are you guys ready? We need to be spiritual ready for what's coming. Something is coming. It's just what I've been reading, the videos that I've seen, the articles that i read. I'm not saying this is going to happen for sure, but you never know. All I'm saying is we need to be ready for whatever is coming. Something that will change the way we see things, something will happen. Don't know when, but everything, everything that I've read, everything that I've seen points to September. All I'm saying, get right with God, seek Him, pick up a Bible, and let's do this. Because we are going to be heading to a spiritual battle. You know? I mean, it's, all this stuff is really crazy to think about, you know? But I'm going to link everything up. You guys take care. Much love. And God bless you. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.